All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, JM Football, doing a draft film breakdown. First one of the season, by the way. So like and subscribe to the channel. going to be a lot of O-line, D-line, linebacker-focused breakdowns this offseason. And we're looking at Georgia center, Cedric Van Pran, number 63 in the middle of the field. Uh, Two-year starter for them. I th- I really, really like this guy. Six foot four, 310 pounds. And he's just got the athleticism that you look for in today's interior offensive line. I think his home will be at center still in the NFL. But he's got quick feet. He moves well in pass pro. Uh, you know, once he's connected to a block in the pass and run, he kind of stays on it. The biggest negative is some footwork stuff he needs to fix. Uh, also, I think he's not just going to naturally get push on defense alignment uh, because of he's not the strongest guy in the world. But once he's connected, he's good, and he buries guys when they redirect. And he's like elite getting to the second level and working angles in the run game. So let's get into it again. Like and subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Cedric Van Pran out of Georgia. So we're going to go through the pass pro first. Lined up at center, obviously, in the middle of the field. You know, nothing crazy. Just nice wide base. You can see see how good the knee bend is. Short, choppy steps. Hands land. Good timing. A little high on those hands. But again, once he's once he's connected and locked on this block, his feet are good. They're wide. Good knee bend. Wins the rep. Ball gets out quick on this. Next play. You see him work some hand replacement on this. Versus the nose tackle. Set. Patient with your hands. Hands are landed. Again, you got the good feet nice and wide. Now watch this right hand. Work back inside. Left hand. Left hand's high. Working independent hands. That's why I like independent hands, you know, not two-hand punching. But it's like, all right, replace this hand. Now let's replace the left hand. It's ready to go up in his, chi- uh, you know, his hips, his his breastplate. Good leverage. Like you've got hit his helmet, your helmet looking straight at his shoulder pads. So just good stuff once he gets connected in the pass pro game. Here versus Oregon. He's got a two-eye right here that he's got a jump set to. They're running play action. And you gotta move. You gotta be able to have the athleticism to move out there on this. Little, this is play action, but just very quick. Gets out of the stance quick. Bam. Hands landed. Again, feet where you want them. No crossover. Looking good to that hop step. Like this. This defense lineman wants to bull watch both. Both these feet get in the air. Both feet get in the air. So he he works the technique that he's taught. Like he's still got stuff that we'll we'll show in the run game he's got to fix, but he's definitely caught, taught good technique and he knows how to work it and get to it, even though again, stuff will come to him faster as he goes. Here versus the nose tackle. Now, I'm not sure the assignments on this blitz. Maybe he's supposed to come off of this, but Again, lands the hands inside, feet inside. Kind of gets worked here where the, the feet don't come over. But again, a pretty good rep touchdown for, for the Bulldogs. This next play, just complete win. He's looping around into this gap. He's got his eyes on whatever blitz they might throw at him. Just working. Good job by 73, passing this off. Now hands inside. Hands inside, good knee bend. He wants to jump, keep your hands in his chest, bring him down. So again, some good stuff in pass pro. I think there's improvement to be made with with his hand uh, usage, you know, those first couple steps, but good stuff. Like he has the athleticism, he has the strength that you want for pass pro in the NFL. So let's go through uh, some run. This is... When guys uh, redirect their weight, he just buries them. Here versus the nose tackle. Like 55 wants to shift that weight back inside, bury him. Now, notice how we're going to go through some specific reps. Watch this first step back. See how it's losing ground instead of gaining ground? That's my thing that he needs to fix, but that's very fixable if you work at it. But again, hands... Good foot drive, a little skinny, and 55 feels that and wants to redirect and make this. When they redirect their weight, get in their hip and just drive and bury them. 
And that's what Van Pran does on it. We'll see. Let's watch it in full speed one more time. Redirect your weight. Take them. Take them where that weight goes. Use it against them. That's something that will help you win in the NFL big time. That really is. Guys on, on the interior, that helps them so much. Here. And again, same thing. Now again, watch this step. We're going to go through some times where it gets them in trouble. I don't like that being backwards. Got to be fixed. Hands inside. Keep the feet chopping. Look at these short steps. Short step. Now again, he's not going to get the most natural push in the world. But he works angles well. And this guy wants to reach his arm out, try and make a tackle. Get in that hip and bury him. And that's exactly what he does. Next play. Again, just working his angles really well. Now, see, notice how the defensive lineman is getting into his chest. That's all with those first two steps, and we're going to go through that. All with those first two steps allows guys to get in his chest because he's not gaining ground. So now we're catching in the chest, but good job adjusting. You see he's got the good leverage, got the hat placement that he wants inside. Keep the feet moving. Keep the feet moving. Give your your running back a crease. Keep finish finish the block. Roll him up over his own defense alignment. So some good stuff there. Now here's where those false steps and and it can, it can even be worse than uh, at other at some at certain points. Not only is it just the one false step. Like watch. False. Now watch the left foot. The left foot's gain, losing ground too. And that just allows guys to get into your chest. And I know this is harder for a center than any other position because you have to snap the ball. But if you just give the, you know, six inches forward, six inches forward with those first steps, it just you it just helps you out so much more. And those, those are the most important steps of a block. But instead of letting this guy get in your chest, now your hands are outside. You know, it's not the worst block in the world. But, again, not everybody's going to be number six in South Carolina in the NFL. See it again here. Watch. Left foot. Back. Just instead of giving you the ability to work this angle better, now the defensive lineman's in your chest. And he was, you know... Again, not not bad block. So like I'm I'm nitpicking, but that stuff needs to be nitpicked, you know, uh, through him. And again, I'm recording this halfway through the season, so this is something that can easily be fixed in season. Like this isn't something that, you know, it's going to take forever. It just takes hard work. I also think maybe because he has such a wide stance, I almost think skinning up his stance just by a little bit, like to here, might actually help him. Like I think that can help him where you're not having to do that because then you end up leaning. It just those first two steps are so important for uh, any offensive lineman, especially when you're facing, you know, nose tackles that are just going to be right in your face, down after down after down. And here's where it gets him the worst. So six is jumping from the front side A to the back side A gap. So you take that false step. So what does that do? That forces you to lean, head forward, head down. Shoulders over your knees and allows him to swim you. So that's that's like the worst rep I've seen of it, but that will kill you at the next level. Like guys will take advantage of that all day long. Like they will take advantage of a head heavy center all day. So that's just something simple, but absolutely needs to be fixed by Van Pran. Now here's where he's the best. Like this is where I think is just the best part of his game. And it's Again, it's not the most important thing for a center, but I do think he's like just great at this, flat out. Getting to the second level. Working combo blocks and zone. And again, I think he fits both the gap and zone scheme. But, I mean, we're blocking guys off screen here. We're helping with this double. We're picking up a first round pick in Noah Sewell and blocking his ass off screen. Ruining his tape. Dropping his draft status. Again, help, help with this. Help with help with 68. Awesome. Patient. Pick it up. Keep your feet moving. 
Block his ass off the screen. That's awesome stuff. Next play. Beautiful. Finish his ass. Like that, that's elite stuff, man. And this is the type of stuff, like the athletic profile with just, again, he's not the strongest guy in the world. He's not a brute, but he has enough functional strength to, to be a, a really good center in the NFL. Again, opening up the hips of this, opening up the shoulders of this defense alignment. Like being patient with it. Not a lot of guys at this point, they're going to just flow. I got I to gotta get over. I got to get this linebacker over and you screw over 68. Nope, he stays on it. Stays on it. Rips through it, stays on it, allows 68 to get to his block. And just the athletics. Like, to be able to get over on this as an offensive lineman, like, that's just good athleticism. Get on it. Keep your feet moving. And just finish him. We're driving his ass. Where are we, where are we starting? We're starting right outside the hashes on the, on the 13. We're finishing him on the sideline of the four-yard line. That's just that's just like that's demoralizing to linebackers. That's what springs uh, runs from four yard gains to 20, 30 yard gains. Here again, working the combo to linebacker. Flip those hips around. Bam. Just gotta tell your back. Just go, go right here. I know he ends up getting six, but he wants to jump gap. Give him that help. Good job. Eyes, eyes. Be patient with it. Help your guy out as long as you can. Stay on this. Stay on this. Stay on this. And then trusting your athletic ability to get off onto this block. And you wish to would have just went up on this just to show off that block a little better. Actually, you know what? He didn't score. My bad. It's the next play that scores. Here is where, like I mentioned, the help he gave on that last one. This is the last play we're going to go through. Could give a, give a little more help for, for your guy. Stay on this a little bit. Don't don't get out in such a hurry. Because it ends up leaving your guy in trouble. And he doesn't do the best job on this anyways. But again, sealing off this linebacker. And your boy's running a touchdown. So good stuff by this guy. Like, uh, I, I'm not sure where his draft stock will land, but I think he's... Um, undoubtedly like a second round pick undoubtedly a second round pick um, you know could maybe even sneak into the late first so I really like Cedric Van Pran out of Georgia so this was the first one of the offseason we'll uh, be doing a lot more of these offensive line ones D-line linebacker as much as I can get my film, uh, hands on all 22 film really excited about it so appreciate you guys like and subscribe to the channel there's gonna be much more there's always obviously some other NFL film stuff out here too so check that out appreciate you guys See you on the next one.